just copying me. Of course. That's I my mean, line. You, you, or you should have said General Kenobi. Like, come on. I mean, no, that's your line. We're <laughs> no, off to a great start. Wait, what? <laughs> Um, okay, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> welcome everyone. Uh, this is to all the films we judged before. I am not Troy Baker, and that is not Katie on the other side. Yes, that is. it's me, not Katie. And I'm not Troy Baker. Yeah, everyone's favorite. <laughs> not Katie. Off brand Katie. Off brand Katie. Discount store Katie. <laughs> I like your guess. Glass is not Katie. I'm, I'm going to say that. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I need, I need them to see, because otherwise, no way, this would be a nightmare. That's why yeah, you exactly. use them. Yeah, no, they're not just for fashion; they're um, they're functional. Wow, that's uh, yeah. you know, that's impressive. I've never seen glasses yeah. that had functioned before. <laughs> oh uh, my God. Jokes aside, that's Tineth, our number one stand yes. on the other side. Yes, it's me, and uh, I'm Lily Kay, but. You already know that, I guess, because you saw my face before. You saw Tineth as well, so you know it's <laughs> Yeah. So basically we're all we're all just here. Yeah. Well, except for Katie. She she's off doing adult things. Yes. Um, uh, like she's working. working. Like it's so weird, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Like why imagine why? imagine working. Imagine um, imagine being productive. And um, What's that? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> We're just having fun on a podcast. Yeah. We don't need know. to be productive. I mean, this yeah. this counts as work, I guess, in a way. Yeah, sort of. So I mean, you can get tax write-offs for it. So. I, I don't think we're there yet, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure to that, but, uh, you know, okay, one okay. day, one day, one day. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, so how have you been? That's the usual question we start here. I've been good. I've been good, yeah. Um, since the last time I was on here, you know, I've been watching more things. Um, good, so good. slowly, like catching up, educating nice. myself okay. on pop culture. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I've I've been watching movies, shows, video games. Um, well, playing video games. I can't watch video games. I mean, you can but... watch them if you watch a stream or something. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, yeah I love watching Last Place, but I, I have been playing my own share of games, which is yeah, it's been fun. Good, good. Because just sort of chilling. Good. How Excellent. about you? I'm still alive. <laughs> That's, well, that's uh, good. It's still going, you know. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's uh, you know, it's uh, it's been a rocky road uh, this year so far. So I don't know if I like this year. I even I'm almost at the point where I'm like, I I hate it even more than I hated 2020 because in 2020, oh, wow, really? good things actually happened <laughs> in the end, and and in 2021, it looks like it's just everything is just crumbling. It's like, <laughs> so I don't know. Well, I mean. We're only halfway through the year, so, you know, anything could happen. True. That is indeed true. Uh, you're going to see. It's all right. Uh, so I already introduced the podcast. I introduced us because, you know, I'm professional and yeah. all that stuff. And uh, obviously, the listeners and uh, watchers on, on YouTube, uh, we have Tinet here because Katie is MIA for two weeks. So we're going to have guest hosts because I am not MIA, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> so... Yep, always here. <laughs> yes. Holding down the fort. <laughs> we don't want to leave you without a without an episode weekly, so that's why we're gonna have first we're gonna have Tinet and uh, next week you no next week you're gonna see Tinet and then you're gonna see Pagan who's gonna be our other guest host and uh, it's gonna be all fun and games. We don't have a specific topic, uh, so we're just gonna r- get right into it and and talk about. I think first we should talk about movie news. What do you think? And then we can discuss uh-huh. what we've been watching. Cool, sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Love so, some movie news. Yes. Uh, the first mov- movie news I want to talk about and I want to ask your opinion about is the new Suicide Squad trailer. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Because, like, what did you think? Let's, let's start with okay. you. What did you think? It's, it looks uh, really good, obviously. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like 100%. It, it looks fantastic. Um, I'm not, like, the biggest DC fan. But this, you know, this does have my attention. I, I gotta say, it looks really nice. Um, James Gunn, just fantastic. We love James Gunn. I mean, come, come on, on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy and other movies as well. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. No, he, he's he's great. Um, so yeah, no, it just looks like a lot of fun. Um, this might be my favorite trailer, I think, mm-hmm. out of the three of them, um, just because it feels like, you know, the tone's just there. It's mm-hmm. it seems really fun, but also like really 
kind of dramatic uh, and intense. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm also not the biggest fan of gore, so you know we'll see. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I'm going to see it in theaters, but. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, um, let's be honest. Uh, I think it looks crazy, like what I would expect yeah, from a James Gunn movie, uh, to be honest, ever since, uh, you know, uh, I, I love all of his movies, I'm not going to lie. Like, And I love how he treats uh, fans. Like, whenever I write something uh, to his tweets or previously on, on Facebook, he never failed to reply, even if it was just like one thing or or you know something or just a smiley face or, or something and I, and I love that like that's so good that you know he takes the time and interacts with us and answers questions and whatnot I like him he's a good guy yeah no, for sure I, I love that he's you know, he's very active on Instagram and Twitter and yes. he's always like you know answering questions yeah it's, it's very nice um a lot of people like ask him for advice on like you know screenwriting and, and filmmaking and stuff and he gives like genuinely good advice yeah 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 um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Not many like, people like, do that. <laughs> Let's be fair. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> God, yeah, the amount of people that you see on Twitter, just like, that, you know, because like a lot of celebrities have like, you know, social media people run their accounts and stuff like that. So, you know, it's nice to see somebody actually own their social media and actually like, you know, be genuine with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. cool. And that, let's be fair, there are a lot of gatekeepers, especially in the film industry. Yeah, that's true. So, you know. Yeah. It's like it's a bit disappointing in in a way, but then you get a guy like Mark Hamill or James Gunn oh, yeah. or uh, Zachary Levy, who's who's a great example of this. Oh, yes. uh, and and then and then you're like, yeah, okay, it can work like this. Like that, this is good. <laughs> you know, I don't think people expect too much. Like normal people, at least. I think it's just <laughs> it's just nice if you know, you ask a question and it, it gets a an, an proper answer or, you know, I, I had this wonderful experience where Mark Hamill saw my drawing of Luke Skywalker. Yes, I saw that. Like, God. That was amazing. <laughs> I, like, it made my, not just my day, but my whole freaking year just so much better. And it was just, you know, it's just the tiniest thing. He just answered and, and he genuinely said something nice. And, and why is that hard? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, it's just like celebrity culture is just weird with that because like a lot of people just I don't know they get a bit of an ego but it's yeah. nice to see some people like James Gunn and yes. Mark Hamill just like they're just very just, chill yeah. and they're like yeah. yeah because you know I I think it's because they were they are just as big of, of fans of the films <laughs> themselves uh, that they know that if you're a fan this is like this this these moments are precious and and these are things that can bring joy even if it's just you know a few words or something and i i think that's important to remember then um especially if if you're actually working in it like i i saw uh i think uh, yes it was zachary levy and someone tweeted something um about him and helen mirren I think it was Aaron, actually, uh, one of one of the members in Retro Replay, uh, who 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 tweeted something that if Zachary Levy would have known that um, uh, he's gonna be chilling with Helen Mirren when he was a kid, then he would probably faint or wouldn't believe it. And Zachary just answered that, like retweeted it and answered, like, "Oh man, I <laughs> I'd probably die <laughs> on the spot or something." Like, and these are like. Come on, it's so yeah, fun. It's, it's wholesome. Yeah, it it's is. wholesome. I, I don't know. It just, yeah, it's always nice to see like positive stuff on social media with us oh, and yes. celebrities. Yeah. Because like it's easy to kind of get negative about or cynical about those kinds of things, but it's nice to just see people having fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, 100%. And yeah. talking about Zachary Levy, what do we think about the new Shazam uh, costumes? Have you seen it? Ooh, picture yes i saw that picture yes um i think it popped on like my instagram feed <laughs> i don't know i didn't like actively look it up but um it looks they look good they look a lot better than the first movie um you didn't it, like it's, the it's, costumes it's funny. in the first movie no no like i i did but it's funny comparing them because i feel like the costumes in the second one are like a million times better like, i don't know what happened but it just it's so weird because i feel like the costumes in the first one i just it just looks very outdated now <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. It, maybe it's just like the texture of the of the costumes or like the material. I don't know. It, it might be. It might be because it definitely, it definitely, uh, it's a different texture. Like if you close, uh, like do a close up on on the on the costumes, you can see that you know they they change oh. the, the the texture of the clothes as well. And uh, I am guessing that they might be a bit more comfortable to wear. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh god, yeah. Because like that's the other thing, right? Is that superhero costumes are like notoriously bad in terms of like just sitting yep. in for hours and hours. So yeah. <laughs> I I, um, I do like them but I, I at the same time I feel like they resemble too much of 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 the other DC uh superhero costumes yeah in a way I can see that now so I, I I think you know in in the first Shazam movie I think I like those costumes a bit more because they were they were so different from what we used to see from DC movies I you know they were like fun and colorful yeah, it was and like, chill <laughs> it was like a lot sillier and like a lot more sort of cartoonish which isn't a bad thing um i don't know it, i mean it's basically about kids who turn into adults so <laughs> <laughs> oh know? yeah it's like i mean <laughs> I don't know, shazam's costume in the first movie is it's it's very like i don't know it's a bit more it's very plain but i love it yeah yeah a bit more plain yeah. definitely but it also it's like I don't know. It just have its its charm. I don't. I don't mind these new ones. Like, don't get me wrong. I I think they look great, but they they feel a bit like I've already seen this kind yeah, of like stuff. More like gen- generic. Yeah. Type yeah. Superhero costumes. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, I don't know. But it's but not I mean, bad. It's not a bad thing. Though. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's good stuff. And we have to um, see them in apparently... action. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. For sure. Because I, I like one of my favorite things about the first uh, the first Shazam movie. Was how like how much they they acted like the kid versions. Yeah, they're not basically the kid versions. It was just so cool. Like it was so unique and different. Yeah. Oh um, my god, they did a fantastic job, all of them. Like obviously, we see more from Zachary Levy because yeah, he's Shazam. But um, I like the other actors as well who they cast as the adult versions of the kids and uh, and how how they interpreted their their alter ego basically. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> It was so they're, fun. They're, they're pure children, and it's yes. just, it's super wholesome and fun. And that's what I love about that movie in general. It's just, it's just very fun. It is. I, know, I, it I is. love those movies. Yes. It's oh, delightful. 100% agree. Um, uh, what else do we have? Uh, Loki, you watched the new Loki episode? Oh, I'm God. Guessing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Hang on, I have backgrounds for this. Yes. I, I have my the wacky background. Zoom backgrounds. <laughs> okay, it's Mobius on a jet ski. Oh, come on. That's it. <laughs> it's his dream. <laughs> Yep, that's it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But uh, uh, Kate Heron, am I saying her name right? Yeah, yeah. Kate yes. Heron, I think. There you go. Uh, tweeted that uh, it was very important to her that oh, yeah. uh, Loki. Um, yeah, yeah. Spoilers for. Us. Yeah, oh, yes. Spoilers. spoilers. But uh, I think Twitter and everything is full of it. So, not really spoilers oh, yeah. at mean, this point. I, yeah. <laughs> but I lost my shit. I. When it happened. I loved it because it felt genuine. Like, you know, it was, it wasn't out of place because usually when something like this happens, uh, I feel like they don't really handle it too well. Like they make it this all dramatic and, and everything. And here it was just like, yeah, yeah, I like prince, princesses and princes as well. So like, yeah, as, as they said, and it's like, OK, <laughs> great. <laughs> Yeah, it's just very organic, um, and it's just really good representation. Like, it's, you know, it. it's it's like the perfect like middle ground, right? Where it's not too like over the top mm-hmm. and like you know, um, dramatic. It's, it's not all like the character is, but it's also not like you know super subtle to the point where it's you know you can just like forget about it, you know, yeah. or like, blink and you miss it type stuff. So I don't know. It, it's it's really important. It's really good, and I'm glad that you know a mainline character in one of these stories is actually like confirmed. You know bisexual now it's like it's good it's good stuff Mm -hmm. um and i want to see more of it um especially in the movies because like you know this is just a disney plus show and like that's important but i would love to see you know uh, like a mainline mcu movie internationally in theaters have like an lgbtq plus character or like something Mm -hmm. like that um but this is a great first step and it's it's not it's just good stuff oh yeah Um, yeah I don't know it just makes but, me happy. I'm just like yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I loved it. Like I loved the whole conversation they had uh, on the train. Like I I think it was very, it was very emotional. I I I hate you, Marvel. By the way, for making me cry every single time. I'm like fuck. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Every episode, <laughs> every single episode. It's just the writing is so good. It is so oh, good. God. Like you know, and uh, I think what they 
TV shows do is that they give more room to the characters to actually evolve and, you know, for us to actually look into uh, their lives and their emotions and uh, who they are as a character. Because, yeah, of course, there are multiple movies they appear in, but it's it's not the same it's it's definitely not the same and uh and i am i am grateful for these shows especially with characters that are a bit underrepresented uh otherwise uh in the movies themselves and uh um i keep seeing videos on tiktok and and twitter that marvel ignored other traumas and everything and i'm i don't think that's true i like you know they keep bringing like, up like uh, like uh, Rocket Raccoon, uh, they keep bringing him up because, you know, he has this uh, big scene in, in, in Guardians of the Galaxy, the mm-hmm. first one, where he's like, he freaks out that everyone calls him a mo- monster and everything, and he didn't want it to uh, be made like this. And, and you know, everyone is keep bringing that up, that that was just swept under the rug. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. Oh, wow. Like... <laughs> Like, oh. what are you talking about? It, it 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 came up again and again. Like, you know, it, it wasn't something that they actively ignored in, in those movies. Yeah, and like that that comes up in the second movie as well. It, like it yep. it's a huge part of that character. Yep. Um and I think yeah, maybe you know this is speculation, but James kind of said that like the third movie is going to be, you know, like the conclusion of that story. And it's gonna deal with like Rocket. They're gonna explore more of that character, like more of that backstory. And the, I think that's good stuff. So mm-hmm. it's like people who say that kind of stuff, it's like, just wait a second, like, hold on. Um, maybe, you know, the people making these stories and, you know, writing these characters, like, genuinely care. Like, I think James Gunn cares more than mm. like, most people do about, yeah. you know, telling Rocket's story and telling, you know, like, making sure that it's, just, it's you know, it's, it's well told and it's an emotional, you know, it's an emotional arc for that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I, th- I think that, yeah, I, I trust James Gunn's vision. Oh, yeah, More 100%. than, like, people on Twitter. <laughs> One hundred, because I, I like, I didn't even understand it. Like, I don't think that Rocket's problem are something that are not cared about in the movies. Like, it even comes back in Infinity War, and then, uh, you know, it it it, it gets a call back in in Endgame as well, uh, because uh, there was a scene in the second Guardians of the Galaxy where it's just Nebula and 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 him, and uh, you know, it's it's just the two of them left uh, by the time Infinity War ends. So it's like. You know, it, yeah. it, 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 it's always there, but, like, we have to remember that these movies are, are like, huge at this point. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. Like, come on. Oh. Um, obviously, in a TV show, you're going to have more space to evolve these characters and, and to make them more human in a way let's say it like that like you know and and i saw uh, that they brought up uh, that nobody cared about uh, bruce admitting that he tried to kill himself in the avengers movie and i'm like what like what like what they what, what? what? <laughs> i mean <laughs> Go on. were they supposed to stop and be like stop. oh bruce do you want to talk about it now like you know i know you just told us that but should we sit down and talk about it even though loki is is you know in our cell and <laughs> We should yeah, plus, like, I don't know. <laughs> the other thing to that is like you know all these characters are messed up in their own ways yeah and it's like it would it would take hours and hours and hours of therapy mm. in order to deal with all of that stuff mm. um which obviously you know works in like shows like wandavision and which is exactly. so much especially but um i don't want to you know go to an avengers movie and like you know necessarily like you know have like get it you have scenes that go like that deep into it because it is, you know, about entertainment. It's also about balancing up a lot of things, right? Um, I don't know. It, it's it's a tough balancing act, I guess. But I don't know. I, I have more faith in these, you know, these creators and their storytellers. Um, especially as we get like new stories, like you know, the fact that Loki, you know, I, I, like a lot of people had the concern with Loki that you know, going back in time and going back to you know the previous version of Loki was going to undo a lot of character progress, um, which is like you know that's a valid concern. But then because you know the people working on the show are so creative and so talented they're able to like unearth you know all these like layers to his character that we you know haven't even seen before mm. and um i don't know it's just it's just fascinating and i love that you know different people different voices are getting the chance to tell these stories uh, and i don't know it it just allows more opportunities like that so i don't know i, I think it's you know the mcu started like <laughs> like not that long ago yeah. you know it's been 13 years so i don't know i think there's plenty of room for them to tell more stories with these characters, oh, yeah. especially like, you know, with the newer characters and also the older characters. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, 
No, I, I That's agree. That's my hot take. <laughs> I, I agree 100%. Like, I, uh, and, and they are keep proving that, you know, just because one thing was mentioned, it's not it's not that they're ignoring it, but, you know, it can it can come up later on. They, they can give it time uh, to evolve, to, you know, get into it more like how it happened with, with WandaVision at first, where we got, like, we get to know Wanda in a such a deeper level than than we did before we already knew that she lost a lot of things but one yeah, division yeah. was there to explore this and then you know we obviously got to see bucky and sam's struggles as well in the falcon and the winter soldier which all those things were in the movies as well but obviously as i said it before you don't have as much time to focus on different characters in in a two and a half hour movie than you have in a six hour TV show. You know, it's it's yeah. like give them time. Give they they, they come around and they and they gonna care for these characters because I think they are proving that they do care about these characters and uh, it's not like they are just like oh yeah he has depression but um, oh yeah she's grieving uh, like they they coming back they they they're taking the time to. To get us yeah, exactly and like you know it's not it's not like perfect or anything but you know that's Nothing just is. that's just that's just life <laughs> i mean you know you, you just you keep learning from your mistakes so it's like you know sure like you know there have been missteps here and there like the mc is not perfect but no they can still learn from them and they can mm. still you know and i think they, they, are, still, they are doing um, a good steps. job on that you know yeah uh, so, so I don't know, I'm, I'm I'm loving the stuff. Like I'm loving what they're doing with the with the Disney Plus shows. Hundred percent um, agree. And I just can't wait to see more. Yeah. I'm so excited for for like you know um, the She Hulk series, Captain Ooh, like, sort of yes. Marvel, mm. that stuff like that. I'm just like oh, even Moon Knight. Oh my God, Oscar Isaac. <laughs> it's just like he's gonna be Moon Knight, mm. and I'm so excited for that. Yes. I, although my 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 biggest excitement is as as I already said a million times, I've wrote about it. I said it on this podcast is the Eternals. Like, oh, yeah. not, just, not just because of uh, Chloe Zhao and Angelina Jolie. Uh, as I said, Madong Sok is in it and he's one of my favorite Korean actors. And I'm like, I just can't wait to see oh, yeah. him in there. Like, I was so happy when he showed up in the trailer. I was like, oh, <laughs> my heart. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I'm so happy. That's your boy. <laughs> That's my boy. Um, but I am obviously very excited for Angelina Jolie to to join the MCU. Like she's one of my biggest idols, so I'm like I cannot wait to see her uh, uh, take on the role of Tina and uh, you know what what they do uh, with these characters because I actually do love the Eternals as a comic book series as well. I think it's oh it's so different from what we are used to. It's it's the same like when they announced Guardians of the Galaxy as a movie because you know the Guardians are very very different from <laughs> what you are used to when it comes to comic books and uh, it felt weird at first uh, but I actually what I did is uh, that I got all the comics uh, before the movie came out and I read them and I was like if the movie is gonna be like this we're good we're good it's it's gonna be a good one and you know I, I, I would even say sorry comic fans that that a movie might be even better than <laughs> the comics itself so i'm just putting it out there don't kill me please yeah i mean i mean i'm not gonna say anything but there's gonna be twitter wars there's gonna be yeah. twitter wars fought about this yes we, we, no, you're gonna know, get called out we, that's why that's just my personal opinion it's it's just mm. me so don't worry about yeah, it respect lily's opinion yes, and if you don't then i'll fight you <laughs> so go like after twitter. you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like no one this is the the co host of the number one podcast in the world and gets away with it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good. Um and the other thing I wanna mention about Loki before we move on is uh, my theory that we talked about oh, uh no. during the live chat. No. Yes. No. Not not the oh, not god. the Natasha theory. It's the other oh, Okay, theory. thank god. I, was, I thought you were thinking about I thought you were talking about that. I was like, no, no. don't don't go there again. No, no, no. No. Uh I wanna talk about that I think uh and this is like, you know, I literally just watched Ant Man and the Wasp again. And uh, in the scene oh, yes. where Scott travels in the quantum realm, uh, you can see in the background a city like something. It's it's, yes. it's 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 something. And here's my theory: I think that's the TVA, and the TVA is actually in the quantum realm, and 
here's the other thing uh, that I think connects the two things is one of them is Michelle Pfeiffer saying that time moves differently here. And obviously we find this out through Scott as well, because Scott thinks that he only spent five minutes in the quantum realm when he was closed in there, when in reality he was there for five years. And then when uh, Loki asks Morbius, like, you know, how old are you? He says, I, uh, I don't know, time moves differently here. So my theory is that the whole of the TVA, uh, uh, the Time Masters and everyone in there is actually in the quantum realm. That's and they use and they use and they use. uh, Let's not forget that uh, when the Avengers time travel in Endgame, they use Pym particles, which is also connected to the quantum realm, and they travel through the quantum realm to get back to the past. Okay, I. You know what? I think I agree, um, mainly because there's also the fact that you know a lot of there's a lot of theories going around that Kang the Conqueror is going to be tied into all of this. Yes. Um, because he's going to be the villain of Ant Man three. That, yes, course, that's the, the that's comics, the third thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in the comics, he's I think the boyfriend of um, Ravonna Renslayer, who is yes. in Loki. Right? She's she's the judge. Um, which granted, you know, obviously that's it's a bit of a stretch. But I do think they could set that up in the future. Mm. Um, I don't think she's necessarily like dating him in the show, but who knows? Anything could happen. But yeah, I, I think it is possible that the TVA does exist um, in the quantum realm because um, you know that in the comics, that city in the quantum realm is actually, I believe, Kang's yes. um, hometown. I guess his city. So yeah, it, it could all connect into like one big story. Um, so Maybe. I don't know. It, it is interesting. There's a, there's a lot of potential there. Maybe uh, I'm, that's that's my guess, it, but. Yes. Oh, of course, I might be wrong. I'm not saying that it's this is 100%. <laughs> well, that reminds me of a theory that I heard a long time ago, which I think is kind of wrong now, but I had a theory that the, the Sakaar from Thor Ragnarok was actually a place within the quantum realm, <laughs> uh, which oh. I don't think is the case. So, yeah, yeah, because like, you know, how they travel through wormholes to get yes. to Sakaar. Yes. Maybe that's what was going on there. Hmm. But uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's true because <laughs> I feel like Sakaar is <laughs> canonically like a different planet. But um, I don't know. Like, it's... Because, like, if you think about it, it's just a place filled with trash. It's like, how yeah. would all the trash? I don't know. It, there's, there's something that, that yeah. I don't know. That may, you might be right. I'm, you know, nothing is confirmed. So, also, oh, also, um, the grandmaster hasn't aged, right? And that's the other thing. It's like that's the grandmaster your, yes. is, you know, yeah, hundreds of years old or whatever. Yep. that's a joke. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's well, just Jeff Goldblum. Just it's chilling. just come on, Jeff Goldblum was awesome. Let's be fair here. Um, yeah, we we're gonna find out. Like I, I we agreed with Katie as well that uh, we're not gonna make theories and everything, anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, to be fair, I I think uh, this one is pretty valid. Like I feel like there's a possibility that they are yeah. actually in the quantum realm. Might be completely wrong though, so I'm not saying as as a hundred percent. But but that's what I was thinking, purely because I just watched Ant Man and the Wasp again, and I was like, oh wait okay. a second, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I do have some other theories for Loki. Um, some, but like, they're very basic theories because I feel like, for the most part, I haven't thought too much about the show. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like, like mini theories, I guess, would be like one. I think the times the timekeepers time aren't keepers. real, or like there's some kind of twist involving the timekeepers. Like they're they're not what they say they are, uh, which I think Might is be. most likely. Yeah, because it, you know, it could be like a Wizard of Oz situation. Might um, be. Yeah. Another one I think is that um, I don't know. I there's episode three right set up the idea that like all the people like all the Minutemen and people in the TVA are variants. variants yep. Um, so clearly there's some kind of mysterious stuff going on at the TVA. Mm. Um, also, what the hell is Miss Minutes? <laughs> I don't understand Miss Minutes at all, and she's what terrifying. Um, she's sentient, but she's also a program. So I don't know. I think there's something weird going on with her. Um, I mean, Tara did just say that uh, there's more to Miss oh, Minutes yes. than, than what we know. So I'm like... Hmm. Oh, also, I heard a theory that um, that one of the timekeepers, or maybe all the timekeepers, are actually Loki variants. And that they're the ones that are actually running the TBA the whole time. Oh, that's a, be... that's a big stretch. Like, come on. <laughs> it would be funny. Um, it would be, but I don't think that's the case, though. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. It... it... I feel like what's good about Loki, though, is that I feel like the, a lot of the trailers haven't given really anything away. No. Like, there's still so many questions I have. Like, how are we going to get to, like, you know, President Loki or whatever? 
how are we going to get to like what looks to be Asgard like I don't know there's, there's so many things that could happen mm-hmm. that I have no idea how they're gonna happen and I'm so excited to just to just watch like because mm-hmm. with one edition and with Falcon and the Winter Soldier like as you know as much as you know fun as shows were like it was kind of easy to figure out where they were going um big picture style mm-hmm. like you know one edition was obviously a show about you know wonder and her grief and, and processing that and Falcon and the Winter Soldier was you know dealing with like you know racism and tackling those kinds of topics and and the legacy of the shield but with this it's like i have no idea like i genuinely don't know how you know we're going from point yeah. a to point b um like even the way the second episode ended i was like holy shit <laughs> like when, when you know we're bombing the sacred timeline we're causing yeah. a multiverse collapse like everything's just going to shit two episodes in and i'm like okay <laughs> i have no idea what to expect so yeah it's it's, it's very fun it is it is mm-hmm. I, I i think uh there is one thing I don't want to see, though, and that's why it'd be controversial. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want, like, a weird relationship between the yeah. two Lokis, basically. Like, I'm like... Oh, God, yeah. Please don't. See, I, I, I immediately... Like, when I checked Twitter after I watched the episode, I immediately just saw people shipping them, and I was like, no. No, just... Please don't. Yeah. Like I, I, I love this woman and, and I think she's doing a great job. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, Sophie obviously. Dimitino, she's yes. she's fantastic. Fantastic. Uh but no. I don't I don't think they go down that road because I, I feel like I it's a bit so. too weird. It's 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 just it would be so weird. I uh, you know, I, I told this during our Shadow and Boon episode uh with Katie that I have this thing where I just I just can't handle these weird ass relationships. Like I just I <laughs> I just can't deal with them. Like, please don't, <laughs> like, don't oh do it. <laughs> like, I hate love triangles. I, I, I hate oh, when yes, it's, sir. it's like, uh, you know, weird. Like, Katie was freaked out that I immediately figured out that the Darkling was the big bad in Shadow and Boon, and I was like, first of all, it's Ben Barnes, poor guy. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm guessing he enjoys these roles. That's why he takes them. But basically, ever since uh, Narnia, uh, he's he oh, he only yeah. played bad guys at this point. Like Dorian Gray was an asshole. Um, then Billy Russo was an asshole. <laughs> and now, like, like, come on. Uh, when 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 they brought up that uh, Van Barnes is gonna be in the Shadow Moon, he's the bad guy. I'm calling it right now. Guess who was right? Oh, <laughs> Kenny must have been like shook. <laughs> She's completely surprised. <laughs> and then, come on, it's Ben, so it's he, he has to be the evil character, and I was right. Um, and uh, you know, I I was I was uh, texting Katie while I was reading the first book, and I was like, uh, "There's a scene in there where it's actually the Darkling who decides to kiss Elena, and and it comes out of nowhere, like uh, uh, it's there's no indication that it's gonna happen." And I, I literally texted Katie like. Come on, is this gonna be one of those weird ones again? <laughs> like, because then I don't want to read it. And then no, thankfully, I have, the, <laughs> I have the perfect background for this for her reaction to to Please. hearing that, and it's this. Yep, there we go. That, that's it. <laughs> that must have been it. Something like that. <laughs> this this is you. This is you telling texting Katie about it. And this is Katie's reaction, just like God damn it. <laughs> figured it out yep yep that's the one that's the one that's her. you know what you're right uh but yeah i don't i don't want the two lookers to have this weird ass relationship like yes i i think i could look at them as maybe like a, a weird sibling kind of situation uh, yeah kind of kind of yes uh because they are kind of the same person like you know they are still very different uh but hmm. you know i yeah no, I, it's it will be very it'll create some really awkward um moments if they actually like go in that direction oh, so yeah let's just let's just uh, make it platonic please yeah please um don't. well i have seen a lot of people like um do you know danny yes um, yes uh she ships loki and mobius like nobody else and is <laughs> Yeah, she one hundred percent ships them, and I'm just like I mean, every time because like, like it's like we watch the episodes every week, and every time I have to deal with her like losing her shit over how cute they are, and I'm just like God, <laughs> she's like squealing about them, and I'm like oh my God. Look, I'm not against that one. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I don't mind that one. I mean, it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of wholesome. Like it's kind of it's bad. wholesome. I don't mind that, yeah. but uh, but the two Loki situation is like, please don't. Yeah, no, that, even just, yeah, even Danny was just like, nope, nope, I'm not, 
<laughs> no, no, I'm I'm not having it. I really liked uh, uh, that. That's where I cried, obviously, uh, when Loki talked about his mother. I was like, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I I just I just love how that's the con constant thing with him. It's just his yeah. his connection to his mom. It's, it's so wholesome. Mm. It's also really sad. It's very sad. Very sad. I I like if you if if you haven't cried or didn't get emotional during that scene in the first episode when he mm. watches back what happened with him man such a powerful uh performance from tom hiddleston as well like come on oh my god yeah like you can see the tears like forming in his eyes it's just like oh it's such good acting mm. and he i don't know i just i love that so much I'm... um like, it broke me and that's what I'm yeah and that's what i'm talking about when i say like like you know, just because there's this you know older version of loki doesn't mean that you know you still can't unpack those layers and like give him you exactly. know, a lot of depth and meaning it's good stuff um, it's, you know that, that stuff is just right there under the surface you just have to look at you know, write, let, it, write like, it into existence yeah yeah and let's be fair like all these things uh that we got to see in the movies after avengers is something that was always there in loki like you know it's it i think it's it's fairly obvious that uh he doesn't hate his brother uh, no. uh way before uh toward the dark world uh rolls in or or ragnarok for that matter and um and and you know i i think it, it it's sure it's a different loki in in a way but but all the emotions that makes him him and and the loki we all love are still there like you know i think it, it was yeah. perfectly shown in the first episode that uh he it's it's him <laughs> <laughs> it's him. Um, I don't know. I, I I just love seeing just different you know different people, different creative teams you know taking ownership of the character, and just saying you know what we're going to continue the story and tell it in our own way. It's it's just it's fun. It's it's what you know keeps the stuff you know fresh and exciting. Um, I'm never like, I'm not I'm not burnt out on comic movies at all. I'm still into this stuff. I just I yeah. love it. Same. It's, it's just so exciting. Same same um, same. Hundred percent agree. Um, yes. I think that's all the new stuff I wanted to talk to you about because I have to leave something for Pagan as well. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Pagan. Sorry, Pagan. Uh, well, I don't think he, she watches Loki. I'm not sure. I, I haven't seen right. any tweets or anything. So, you know, we're good. We're good. There are still okay, many okay, other cool. things to talk about. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing because we just spoiled all of it. Yes. So. <laughs> we just blew. Um Yeah, I will just put out like a spoiler warning at the beginning, I oh, guess. Yeah. Um, uh, so here comes the, the other regular question what have you been watching lately okay well um a lot of stuff but okay first answer is you're gonna hate me for this oh no but um, i went to the movies yesterday okay and uh, you'll never believe what i saw because i saw everyone's favorite um automobile based movie fast and furious 9 um for some reason <laughs> absolute waste of my time um, was it horrible? Two hours of my life I'll never get. It, it, it wasn't horrible, but it was just very forgettable and boring. <laughs> like it just, just nothing. It, it just, it, it, like it was basically a movie. Like that's all I can really say about it. It was a movie, and I watched it, and that's it. It was like, made by people. Not, <laughs> yeah, it's like a solid six and out, six out of ten. Like it's just, it's just a movie. Okay, but here's a know, very it, important question, though. Have you watched it on in IMAX? No, no. So you haven't seen the Jurassic World trailer? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I thought it was, I thought it was going to happen, and then it didn't happen, and I was really sad. But is that just an IMAX thing? That's an IMAX oh, thing, unfortunately. Oh, because if you had seen I that, see I would it. be like, please tell me. <laughs> yeah, I. God, I'm, I'm still, I'm still annoyed that they're releasing that movie a year from now. I'm just like, I can't wait that long. Uh, I, need, I need it this year. I know, I know. I, yeah. I need it this year. I just want a trailer or something. Just like, mm -hmm. come on. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I didn't even have an IMAX near where I live, so I couldn't watch that even if I wanted to. I, I um, we don't have IMAX near here either, yeah. so. Oh well. Yeah, um, Fast and Fast and Furious Nine gets a big um, eh, for me. <laughs> it's it's just kind <laughs> of whatever. Um, it's, it gets a big family, because that's that's the whole quote. It's just it's about family. It's about family, Tom. Excellent. I don't know. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, in terms of other stuff I've been watching, the other day I watched, um, actually no, today I watched, um, this, early this morning, I watched a movie called Luca on the new Pixar movie on Disney Plus, and I freaking loved it. I love Luca. Um, oh my God, it was so good. Hang on, I think I have a background for it. Yeah, it, it was, it was so, it was so nice. Luca! Um, 
I mean, come on. <laughs> That's just concept art, but like, come on, it's so delightful. Like, it, Such it, a good movie. It's, it's, it's just whimsical, it's fun. It's just a very straightforward, delightful Italian movie, mm-hmm. or like a movie set in Italy. Yes. It's just nice. I don't know. I don't, you know, I've seen people sort of say that it's, you know, too simple and that it's, you know, it's not like Why is it too on the simple? level of like, you know, it's not on like the level of other Pixar movies like, you know, Come Ratatouille and, and Soul and Coco. I'm just like, well, yeah, obviously, but like that doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> you know, like not every Pixar movie has to make you cry or have an existential crisis in order to be good. Like, you know, sometimes you can just have fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is fun. It, it is, um, and it's and it's freaking wholesome. Like, come on! Oh yeah, I, I, it's a, it's a coming of age story first of all, uh, mm-hmm. above everything else, and and I think uh, is is especially uh, Luca and Alberto's friendship is is something that oh, yeah. it's just so beautifully done. Honestly, like, yeah, I love that. It's just, it's just it. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I cried I mean, like just, a baby. It was a at solid. The end. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um... Yeah, no, it was a solid like ninety minutes. Just a very pleasant movie. But, I yeah. would highly recommend it. Yep. Just you know, two thumbs, two thumbs up for me. I don't know. I just I I enjoyed the hell out of it. It mm-hmm. was it was very entertaining. Um, and just yeah, it was just a nice watch. Um, which you know, not everything has to be super groundbreaking and like you know yep. the pinnacle of of storytelling in order to be good. Like this exactly. can just be its own thing. Um, so yeah, I, I loved Luca. Would highly recommend. Um, and in terms of other stuff I watched, I watched an, another, another animated movie the other day, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm like two months late on, <laughs> but okay. um, it's it's uh, critically acclaimed, and that's Mitchell's versus the Machines, uh, aka the Dark Furby movie. Because <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? God, this movie was amazing. Um, yeah, <laughs> I had lost my shit when I watched this. I mean, it's our favorite directors yeah. who did the yeah. Lego movie. And they did. Yeah. I just realized this, and I I was like uh, blown away that I didn't know this because I love uh, those two movies. They did Claudia and uh, Claudia with a chance of meatballs. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah, they did. And yeah. I was like, I shit, meatballs, yeah. shit, how did I don't know yeah, this? Everything, everything that Lord and Never Touch is just gold. Like it's, it's stunning. Gold. Yep, yep, hundred percent agree. It's unbelievable, this... like everything. This movie as well. Um, I I didn't want to watch it. That was the real thing. I don't know why. I just I just didn't have a connection to it like like I have it with with other movies. And I didn't want to watch it. Yeah. And then my brother watched it, and he was like, "I think you would like this. You would cry." That's like that's always a convincing part for me. Yeah. Like you know, like you say I will cry, I will watch it. And uh, and I was like, oh, okay, I I can watch it. Why why not? Like you know, I have the time to to sit down and watch it. So I was like. Ah, okay, I will watch it. And then, first of all, yes, I cried. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so much. <laughs> so much. Uh, and it was so amazing. Like, it has the same humor as their previous movies, which I ve- very much enjoy. And, you know, they are so creative with, uh, with visual stuff as well. Um, so, yeah. Such a good movie. Oh, just, just stunning. I mean, like, I'm like even because, you know, I, you know, Two months right it took me two months to get around to this um you know i heard everybody talk about it right everyone says this movie is amazing it's you know almost as good as spider-verse or even as good as spider-verse mm-hmm. and i was like okay i mean really <laughs> like really is it really that good um because you know I, I i remember seeing the trailer for it like ages ago yeah and when i saw the trailer i was like this looks interesting but it also just kind of looks like could be okay i mean i don't know it, it didn't like grab me Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know that's all I really thought about until the reviews came in. And I was like, okay, so apparently this movie is an actual masterpiece, and I don't understand why. <laughs> um, and then I watched it, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I was I was wrong. I shouldn't have doubted it. It it one hundred percent lived Same. up to the hype. Um, it's like it's just it's so creative, and it's okay. Like the thing about it though is it's like obviously it's creative and the artistic you know design of the movie is stunning. But God, this movie is funny. Like, it is. It's it's unbelievably funny. Like. Because there are so many jokes, in, I mean, obviously, Dark Furby, and come on, this, it's killed me. Um, I love the, I love the subtitles as well. It's like, yeah, I don't know, it's good stuff. But I mean, there there are so many jokes in this movie that I feel like if you know, if it wasn't, if it was in like, if they were in other movies, um, and they were like, um, 
told in like a worse way it just wouldn't have been funny but this movie does them so well and the, the like timing of them and the, and the editing is so good that they're just hysterical like there's so many jokes in this movie that shouldn't work but they do um it just blows me away i'm like how how is the writing this good uh, i don't know it, it's, it's sensational it is like, it's oh god but here like, comes- I, I burst out laughing oh no, no, say it, say it. Okay, I, I was just kidding. I burst out laughing like two or three times during this movie because I was just, it's just so funny. Like I died laughing yep. multiple times. Yep, yep, I agree, I agree. Uh, but here comes the important question. Have you watched Vish Dragon? Oh, shit. Okay, you've caught me on the one thing I haven't seen. Um, <laughs> Please watch it. I know. Please watch it. I uh, There was Please, another one where this? I was like, ah, do I want to watch this now? I don't know. Do I? Yes. And then I watched it on premiere day. And oh my God, I freaking love this movie so much. <laughs> like, I, I, heard, I, I saw Charles talk about it. I'm not sure like what it is it's, like, specifically, but... It is... It is yes, basically yes. a spin on the genie and Aladdin story. That's what I would say Ooh, about interesting. it. Interesting. Okay. It's very, very good. Very, very wholesome. Great humor. Uh, beautiful animation. I love the animation. Uh, and it's just fun and, and heartbreaking at points. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend it because it's really, really good. And I love that okay. uh, so many animated movies are, are coming out. Like, that's. Oh, yes. It, it's I mean, I'm, I'm the animation guy. Yep. So I, I, I'm, I'm all into this. I love this stuff. Yep. Yeah, 100% agree. What else did you watch? Um, uh, just like rapid fire stuff. Like I've been watching The Office um, mm-hmm. for the first time, The US Office, okay. uh, which has been an absolute trip because at first I didn't like it. Season one, I almost dropped off after the second episode because I just didn't like it. Um, which took me, God, like I almost gave up after the second episode because I was like, this is just so cringy and, and hard to watch, mm-hmm. um, which I feel like Katie has mentioned on, on the show before, but... Yeah, it's just, it's so cringy and so, like, uncomfortable at times. Um, season two was better. Yeah. Um, but I, st- I still felt like it was just like, uh, I don't know if I like these characters. Um, but I will say, like, once I got, like, I'm on season five right now. Mm-hmm. It's gotten so much better. Like, it's <laughs> way more, like, it's, it is good now. Like, it's, it's genuinely entertaining. Um, I find the concepts a lot funnier in each, each episode. Um, the characters are well, are well written. It's, it's good. Um but I don't love it because I still think that some characters are kind of assholes. Like I don't, I don't like Michael Scott. I don't like Michael Scott. I think he's he's kind of a dick sometimes. Well, I think a lot of the time. Um, I'm not gonna I lie. Know. I've I've never seen The Office. Yeah, I w- I wouldn't recommend it. Purely because it just, it's just it feels uncomfortable. Like I saw some of the yeah. scenes and I'm like, nah. Yeah. I, I like, don't like think I, said, I want to watch this. <laughs> The, the second episode like almost killed it for me i was like jesus christ mm. i can't i can't with this because it's it's just like insensitive joke after insensitive joke and it's just like oh i don't know i mean because like the other thing is that and maybe i'm like this is where i get confused about the show right is that cause i don't understand if i'm supposed to be like if i'm supposed to be cringing at it and if it's supposed to be uncomfortable mm-hmm. or if it's just like bad and i don't understand because like because like Michael Scott says so many things and he does so many things that are, that are just bad mm-hmm. that I'm like, is this is this like intentional <laughs> or is this like ironic? Like I don't I don't understand the show because um, like you know he does impressions of like black people and he does impressions of of Asian people and I'm just like, I stop, <laughs> I can't yeah. do this. Yeah. So I don't know. It, it's it's very odd. Um, but then he also has moments. He has like very rare moments where he gets humanized and like they actually like give him depth and emotion and I'm like, what? What am I? I don't know. It, it's a very hard show to read for me. Is um, is the office the one where uh, John Krasinski is in it? Is yes, it? yes, it is. Okay, he's uh, my favorite part because yeah. he's amazing. That's my um, only, only surprise, thing surprise. that I would like to see. Like you know, I love John Krasinski so. Oh yeah, like I mean, the only thing that carried me through the first like two two seasons was um was his character Jim. And Pam, because uh, the whole thing is like is the, you know a, a will they or won't they type mm-hmm. you know relationship, um, and the entire time I was like just fucking date each other because you two are just like perfect. Um, everything else I couldn't care less about. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, they, Jim and Pam, just amazing, so good. Um, I, I think anyway. 
That's um, the only thing that interests yeah, just, me. Like, I want to see John Krasinski more things. Like, oh god, he's so he's so funny in this. Like, he's just he's brilliant. I love yeah. every time he looks at the camera. Every time he, you know, yeah. he just all the memes of that. It's it's, it's iconic. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, it's a considering great. point. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like. I want to see John Krasinski, but at the same time, I feel like this show is just too cringy for me, and and I'm not yes. we're not friends with with cringy things. It's like I, I will say it, it it gets less cringe as it goes on. Okay. Like it gets it gets it gets easier to watch. Um, Would I understand it if I started at season three? Oh, you have to you have to like start at season one because the characters are just so specific, and like there's like a lot of inside jokes and things that you kind of have to pick up. That's um, what I was afraid of. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> I don't know it yeah it, it's not the best um, i would say brooklyn 99 better like way better million yeah. times better yeah um, yeah i like so, yeah. Brooklyn 99 that's that's a good one that's a good one uh, yeah good. And i just like the other thing that i've been watching um i'm also like deeply obsessed with um bo burnham's inside uh, oh. which i've talked to like a million people yes. about like katie yeah. and like like a ton of people on, on you know socials about this special because it is just incredible like i have his back ones because i mean come on like he shot this at you know in his own home yeah for like you know the, the entire past year um and i just i'm obsessed with it i'm 100 percent into this and like the lighting is sensational Ooh, yeah yep so yeah if I you like um it. i don't even want to say anything about it other than just watch it like if you haven't seen it watch watch inside on netflix because it is one of the best things i've ever seen <laughs> like it's <laughs> genuinely like and i'm not just saying that like it's unbelievably good mm. um yeah it 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 provoked like, all the emotions out of me. I, it's 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 incredibly funny, but it's also just like really like deep and and existential, and it, it just like it just got me. Like I I loved everything about it. Um, yeah, and I just I, I just can't stop thinking about it. There you go. I haven't seen it yet. I'm not gonna lie. You have to. I'm not you have to. Lie. Because I I I have this problem when something gets really really high up, I can't. I can't watch it until it dies down completely, and then then I oh, will God. I will jump on and, and watch it. I I still haven't watched the Queen's Gambit either because it was it was so oh. much hype around it that I was like ah oh, yeah no because okay. what happens usually is well it it happened more than once that they hyped something up for me right like it was like oh my god you have to see this because it's it's this good and and this is why it's amazing and you're gonna love it and blah 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 blah. and i'm like okay i will watch it and i sit down and i'm watching it and it's i don't get the same thing that that the person who hyped it up told, yeah. told. like I, i'm like i mean yeah it's not bad but like you overhyped it for me and now it's kind of disappointing <laughs> in a way like yeah, that's I, why i, I usually that. just wait like no, I, I will watch it on my own pace and my, in my own time because I don't want to be disappointed. I'm sure they are great, but when it's overhyped, I'm, I can't. I can't watch it. Okay, well, in that case, um, Inside is terrible. It's complete no, rubbish. It, it doesn't watch. work like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. I'm just going to wait with it. I will definitely watch okay. it, but not, not not now. Not just yet because okay, it's, fair like, you know, it's, it's just keep popping up like, oh, my God, it's so amazing. And... You know, if yeah. if I don't feel like it is, it's gonna be a disappointment, even though I'm sure it's great. So I'm like, I'm just gonna wait till it's okay. till it's gonna die okay, down, and, and I will watch it then. So you know, yeah. in in peace. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. Uh, okay, okay, know. okay. Fair enough. I, I respect I respect your opinion. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I will probably yes. tweet about it. So okay, I will lose my shit when you tweet about it. <laughs> like every time, every time I someone I follow tweets about it, I'm just like, thank God someone thank else has seen it. Um, yeah, it's just it's. I will get around to it. That's that's what I'm saying. I will definitely yeah. get around to it. That's that's a promise. Yeah. But not the Queen's Gambit is good. Hmm? The uh, Queen's Gambit is good. I I will get around to that one as well. Like but uh, I'm not gonna lie. I am now a bit tired of TV shows. Like you know, I I have Loki oh, okay. and I have the Bad Batch. Uh, that I am. Oh, I am I'm also watching. watching the Bad Batch. I forgot to say that. I'm also watching the Bad Batch. So excellent. We're not gonna talk about it because I don't want to spoil it for people. <laughs> Okay, sure. Uh, that's why I didn't bring it up because I'm like, I am waiting for the conclusion. I'm like, I'm like, hmm. I, that's why I don't t- tweet about it or anything. I'm just like, I'm waiting for the conclusion and then I'm going to tweet the shit out about it. And I'm just going to be like, again. <laughs> I do oh, like okay. it. Like, um, I will I will put it out there that I do like it a lot. Like, it's, it's excellent. Yeah, it's good. Uh, um, but uh, I, I feel like I watch too many TV shows uh, all at once, okay. I mean, because I watched. Mary we stand, which was amazing um yeah. I, I watched black summer season two uh 
uh, and then what else did I watch? I watched something else. I was I watched Invincible. Uh, oh yes, that's right. And I, come on. Uh, and 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 I feel like it was a bit too much. So I'm I'm now putting a stop on TV shows for a okay. while. I'm like, oh, I need a breather. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's fair. Um, yeah. Well, the good thing is, inside it's not a TV show, so you should definitely watch that. Damn yeah, it! Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I like every time it. I say something, I, like, I will watch it. You just gets pushed back. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, um, yeah, but oh, and I also started watching Shit's Creek. So. Oh, Katie's gonna lose her shit about that. Yeah. Ha, pun, yep. pun fully intended. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm, I'm, I'm on that one uh, most definitely, and I like it a lot. So. You know. I still need to get around to it. Oh, it's really. Like good. Still, I'm, I'm mostly. There's just so much I need to watch. Yeah. I know it's like it's a bit overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. Like uh, you know, we can finally go back to the cinemas. Uh, oh yes. And uh, and there are great things coming out on TV as well. And I'm like, oh, I love it, but at the same time, I'm like, where where, where do I look? What's that? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my attention is just split everywhere. I can't it's keep track. Like all over the place, like. Oh, uh, what what else is, is coming out? Like, I think there was there was a weekend where like, I don't know, six different things came out, and I was like, I I can't. Yeah. <laughs> it took me two months to get through middle missions versus the machines, and I'm just like, oh, finally. Yeah. And it's like, nope, there's some there's something else. There's always something else there's to watch. Now I've, else. I have Wish Dragon. I have to watch Wish Dragon. Oh, I have yes. to watch. Oof. You definitely oh have to watch with Shagan. Like, that's 100%. Um, I, will, I will tweet about it when I do. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's, it's uh, And also for you, dear listeners and, and watchers on, on YouTube, watch with Shagan. It's really good. Um, but yeah, I think I think our time is coming to an end. Um, oh, no. I know. I know. So if you would like to share where people can follow you on the socials, now's the time. Okay, uh, let's see if I can do a better job at this than last time where I just insulted everybody <laughs> watching. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I said you should follow me on Twitter. On Twitter. And because, um, you know, I, I'm on Twitter and I tweet things occasionally, like, um, you know, basically on a daily basis. Uh, so you, you can find my hot takes on, on various things. True. Um, also, <laughs> also, you're playing with your hair. It's like every episode has to have something to do with hair. Yes, I, I have to because I don't like how it's... but. Ah, uh, I, I can't. I can't do a bit. So I'm like, is, is it look, is, how how will it look better? Should I just? Yeah, that's good. Dumb. Yeah, well, that's fine. Thank you. It's like, you know, I feel you know, like Katie's gone. Katie's <laughs> gone for two weeks, so you know it's fine. Just like, <laughs> just, just go crazy. Okay. Just try to you know dye like dye your hair, like do crazy shit. It doesn't matter. And then uh, when Katie comes back, you can just be like, well, that was an interesting <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> Things happened. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think it, it all just went downhill yes. after you left and after you came back <laughs> and after you came back <laughs> okay no i'm gonna um, say that. <laughs> oh god it's katie i'm sorry katie i'm sorry i shouldn't i shouldn't have replaced you <laughs> i shouldn't have signed up for this um so anyway social media follow me on twitter and instagram if you can find me on instagram i'm sure i'll accept your request Ooh. um you, or maybe they, I won't. They they need to request to follow you. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm very special. It's a VIP account, um, and by oh VIP, I'm, it's a private account. It's a private account. I don't I don't accept follows from a lot of people, but it's uh, mm. you, know, you can try your luck, and you know it's like a Russian roulette. You try your luck, see what happens. <laughs> so Come. guys, definitely follow Tinnis. <laughs> Worst. It's a train wreck, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> Uh, I only have one question. Mm -hmm. Where is Gamora? Don't you mean why is Gamora? No, I mean what is Gamora? Who's Gamora? <laughs> Which is Gamora? <laughs> How is Gamora? <laughs> what color is Gamora? <laughs> Where is she? Where is Gamora? <laughs> Where is Gamora? <laughs> Where can she be found? <laughs> Oh no, all jokes aside, I would literally die if one at one oh, point wait, wait. we could have Zoe Saldana just oh, you know, God. just sitting down with us and being 
Yeah, it's, it's just us making it's just the two of us making the same joke over and over again. And Katie and Zoe sometimes just like leave. They would just be like, just like Oh, oh by the way, you haven't you haven't come you haven't said like an actual dad joke yet. You, I, you have to come up with a joke. I know. Wait, yeah. wait, I, I have because oh god damn. Like, you know, I, I as, had as much as Katie one. hates these jokes. I know I love you love jokes. my I know you love my jokes, so uh, I should have prepared a joke for you. God damn it! Wait, 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 wait. Oh no! I, I have, I Pretty have quick. a, uh, I have a notes here I, where I write down my jokes. <laughs> um, so I, I will find a good one for you because there are a few that I want to tweet out. Uh, so you're gonna get a, a special one. Well, I love that you tweet out the jokes as well. It makes me so happy. There, 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 it, know, is, there it is. There it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Katie, I'm very sorry, <laughs> but also I'm not. Okay. This is wonderful. <laughs> Why do fathers take an extra pair of socks when they go golfing? Because they got a hole in one. <laughs> I knew that one. I knew that one. That was easy. God damn it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I have other ones. I have other one. Uh, dear Matt, grow up and solve your own problems. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wait, what, oh, wait, no, wait, I have one more. Oh, <laughs> no. I am enjoying this. Wait. <laughs> Katie, help. Send help. <laughs> She's holding me hostage with, with dad jokes. <laughs> oh god. What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing. It what? just waved. <laughs> I just I just went from loving these to just hating these. The full character arc. It's just the hero's journey. I just went on the hero's journey and now I'm back. Uh, uh. <laughs> I, I love these jokes. I have so many. Like I have a literal list in here. Uh, you know, I'm happy they make you happy, honestly. That, they, they make me very happy. I'm like uh. it's, it's important. <laughs> Wait. Now you're just now you're just reading them and laughing. Yeah, I'm just laughing at my own joke thing. Because. Um, um, uh, wait, 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 wait. How do you make Definitely. seven even? Take away the S. I'm done. I'm closing my phone. Help. Some viewers at home, help me. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tina, thank you for replacing Katie for this episode. It was really fun to talk to you about everything, basically. Um, yeah. My hair went crazy by the end, but uh, we like that, you know. My hair stayed the same? Yes. I, I tried to mess it up, but, you know. Yeah. You have a perfect hair. I do not, so... Just deal with it. Yeah. Um, it's unmovable. <laughs> it's invincible. <laughs> it's invincible. There you go. Um, and yeah, thank you for coming on the show, our number one stand. Um, yeah. And uh, you know, if if this ever happens again, I'm just gonna call you again to comment, do an episode. Yeah, um, I I would love to just do an episode where you say nothing but dad jokes, <laughs> and it's completely <laughs> normal. <laughs> Yes! Uh, I'm gonna replace Katie. No, I'm not. Katie, don't worry, I'm not gonna replace you. <laughs> yeah, no, please. Um, you know what, Katie, you can, ha you can have the honor of, of you know, listening to all of Lily's dad jokes from now on. I love my dad um, jokes. I, I don't want to take that position from you. Yes, yes. Um, and yeah, uh, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this video, and leave a comment. We usually answer something very funny, especially if it's me. I'm gonna answer Don't something forget to very ring that, that notification bell, because uh, that's very important as well. Oh wait! I Maybe leave this up to you. yes. I, I leave this up to you because you were so great last time. So so you can say all the nice okay. things to people. Okay. Let, okay. Let's go, gamers. Um, you know this. This podcast is one of the best podcasts you will have ever listened to in your entire life. Um, you know I don't just stand for no reason. Um, so you know Lily. You know Lily, obviously with her amazing puns, she's the best. Um, she's incredible. Katie, obviously incredible as well. Even though she's not here, she's she's one hundred percent the best co-host that Lily could ever have. You both are amazing. You both have the best conversations. Um, you know, 
I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just wonderful. You know, so you have to subscribe because these two have, these two have the best friendship I've ever seen. <laughs> you can't separate them, even if you try, because they're just super wholesome. Um, yeah, I know. They're just, they're very supportive friends and you love to see it. And, uh, I, just, I just I just love supporting you guys because you guys are the best uh, and you make me happy. Oh, you're making us happy too, but you're awesome. Uh, also, we could say that uh, uh, Katie is my Bucky. Uh, yeah. So there you go. There you go. Katie, that's a big honor. So please handle it like that. <laughs> All right, Tinet, thank you for being here. Okay, bye. <laughs> to all of you out there, take care of the still a pandemic. If you can get the vaccine, go and get it. Uh, and let's hope that we can get out of this whole situation fairly quickly right yeah. now because it's getting boring. So please. Yeah, mask up, gamers. Yep. We love you all. Bye. Yes, there we go. <laughs>